set the communication mode from USB communication to Wi-Fi communication. Set it to Wi-Fi and uh, press the encoder potentiometer to save it. And uh, reboot. Now it is uh, Wi-Fi config page and uh, please check the Wi-Fi mode. The latest Wi-Fi board is green LED shining when I select Wi-Fi mode. Reboot RD6080P and uh, please uh, click the here. Choose the correct device model. Check the Wi-Fi name and uh, if it is empty, please allow the permission it could require. And here it is a Wi-Fi password. Please notice that only 2.4 G network is supported. Press next. You need to wait 20 seconds and see if the IP address is displayed on the model. Now it shows the IP address on the model and uh, please here click here and uh, confirm. Now the network uh, connection is OK and press OK button. Click the device model name and click here. You can see it is connected here, and you can see on the top corner, the lock corner is turns yellow. It means the panel is locked, and you can see you press the button. It does not work. Now you can set the voltage and the current here. Click the voltage, and you can use the wheel to adjust the setting. You can also use the keyboard to enter the setting value turn on turn off you can uh, set the time to the device and you need to install the CR1220 battery and you can call out the stored data group in the device here You can call it. You can adjust the device brightness. It is default to level four, and you can adjust it. You can see the product SN number and the firmware and the name. You can also export the data to Excel or screenshot. It records one second at a time. And uh, please notice that when you connect the device like in this way, reboot, you can see if the app is not running on the front stage. It will fail to connect to the server error. You need to connect it at this page.